Hi everyone, for this question we're going to find equation vector of the plane that pass through the point 1, 2, 3 and it is parallel to another plane. So as this is the surface that we want to find or this is the plane that we want to find, it pass through the point A, 1, 2, 3. At the same time, it is parallel. Parallel means same. Same gradient as another plane which is r dot 2i minus j plus k equals to 1. So to find the equation of the plane, we need r dot n equals to a dot n. So we need to identify what is our vector a and vector n in this equation. So vector a will be the position vector for the point where the plane we need to pass through. So this plane is passed through this point A. For this coordinate 1, 2, 3, we can change it to position vector OA, which is 1i, 2j, and 3k. So this is the point that we want. Then another information we want to find will be the normal vector come out from this surface. So by given the information here, they say it parallel to another plane. So this plane equation, we understood that this is r dot n. This is our result of a dot n. So indirectly, they want to tell you that this plane also having a normal coming out from this surface. We give it n1, which is 2i minus j plus k. So as you can see here, our normal vector that we want to find actually will be the same direction as this normal from this surface. So therefore, to find the normal vector from this surface, it will be equal to the normal vector we can obtain from the parallel plane here, which is 2, negative 1, and 1. Then we can proceed to calculate the equation of the plane. So which is r dot n equals to a dot n. So for this equation, they want us to put in vector form. Therefore, for the left hand side, we will remain the r n will be 2i minus j plus k equals to the position vector that we have here is 1, 2, 3 dot with 2, negative 1 and 1. So we simplify the right hand side here as we dot means 1 times 2 plus 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 1. So it gives you 2 minus 2 then plus 3. So finally, your answer will be uh, dot n equals to 3. Or we can write it in vector form, which is r dot 2 negative 1, 1 equals to 3. So it will be up to us whether we want to write in the vector in vector form or we write the vector in full with ijk. So that's all for these questions.